pasta rosettes. So I've got six noodles. You can also use just regular lasagna noodles. Um, the thing I like about the no boil noodles is that they have straight edges. And I'm gonna wind up slicing the rolls so it'll really come in handy to have those edges. All right, and then I'm spreading ricotta cheese all over the surface. Feel free to come in and check out what I'm doing here, Alex. Nice. And then love ricotta, but I feel like it always needs just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then some apricot preserves. Bear with me here. This is not a sweet pasta dish, but I'm gonna add some prosciutto in a second, and it's nice to have that little salty sweet thing going on. All right, and then prosciutto. I've still got it on the paper because once you take it off the paper, it just becomes more and more unruly. So you basically want to put it straight on the sheet. You see that, Alex? Wow, it's Isn't pretty. that cute? And then about three basil leaves, one, two, three, and a little bit of mozzarella. You just want to keep in mind that this is going to be rolled up and sliced, so if you stuff it too full, it's going to be really hard to uh, keep it together. All right, I'm going to put one more <laughs> little shred on there. Okay, and then I'll turn it so I can roll it, roll it away from me, and you just want to kind of keep tucking things in so it stays really tight. You don't want to have a great big gap or a great big air bubble in there. Okay, so once it's rolled, I've got a really sharp knife and I'm gonna cut it into thirds. So I'll cut one end off really carefully. Be sure to use a serrated knife because it just makes it easier. And then I'm gonna turn it around and cut the other two pieces. All right, so that is one lasagna sheet, three rosettes. I'm gonna keep going until I get all of these in and I'll put them in the baking dish as I go. All right, see this beautiful little pan of rosettes? Wow. And I love that not all of them are identical and some of them are different heights. It's just nice and rustic. So I'm gonna to top this with a simple sauce and it's just heavy cream with some grated garlic and Pecorino Romano cheese, mm -mm, nice and sharp, and salt and pepper, and then I'll give this a stir. All right, so come on in here, Alex. You gotta watch Poor this Cam. happen. Poor Cam. And honestly, this was a relatively simple dish. It just takes a little assembly time, but the payoff in terms of how much time it takes to prepare is great. I have some mozzarella left, of course. Of course. <laughs> Always got to leave some mozzarella to sprinkle over the top. All right, now we can put this into the oven. I'm going to bake it at 375 degrees for 14 to 16 minutes until it's bubbly. So I've got a little bit of balsamic glaze over the top. You can do whole basil leaves. You can tear them up as you go. I have a new motto. We don't get to make anything that we don't eat and taste. We don't get to make anything and just look at it anymore. Those days are over. We do okay. not miss those days. Watch this, Alex. Come in. Ready? Look at that creamy sauce. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Stu, you want to come join me and take a bite? <laughs> Here, Stu. Together. We always do these things together. Stu will gladly oblige. Stu is like pulling the plate away from me. Mm. Oh my gosh, Stu. Mm. Scale of one to ten. Well, you made a mess, but this is certifiably some of the best food that I've ever had. Wow. And that is saying a lot.